The year is 2020. The MCA takedowns are ravaging the Twitch platforms. Streamers are now learning for the first time that they cannot broadcast intellectual property without owning a license. <laughs> hey guys, Get Level here, and today I'm going to show you how to delete your highlights, your VODs, and your clips. We're also going to be taking a look at a new solution that might help you delete everything at once. I haven't tried it yet, but we're going to figure it out together. Let's go. So in case you've been living under a rock, you'll realize that um, Twitch is receiving mass DMCA takedown requests. That means that uh, music companies will scan out a bunch of clips and if they find their music, they will send out a request to Twitch to take it down. Uh, if you are a big brain and you've actually read the Twitch terms of uh, services or terms and conditions or, or your contract, your affiliate contract, uh, it will say that if you get a DMCA, basically your channel is going to get banned for at least 24 hours, but that's an offense. So if you get banned, banned a second time because it's automatic with DMCA, and if you get banned a third time, you might actually lose your channel permanently. So a lot of streamers are actually uh, scrambling right now and trying to save what they can and just delete their clips before they get DMCA'd. I don't have particular or precise information about which companies, which labels, etc. but I'm gonna go over um, how you can delete your highlights because those are permanent and how to delete your clips because those are also permanent. I'll also show you how to delete VODs, but um, your VODs disappear so you won't get DMCA'd on a VOD that was two years ago but because technically you don't have a VOD that was there from two years ago. Anyways, if you go to your channel, you click top right on your face or on your profile picture and then you go to video producer, okay? It's gonna bring you to that page right here this is the video producer this is where you have all your vods and stuff like that and if you want to delete clips you would have to click on clips right okay and in top right you will see clips i've created or clips of my channel clips of your channel obviously is what you want and uh here you have a list of every single clip that has ever been created the thing is that page has to load so technically if you go all the way up top you click on that little box here, it will select everything that has been loaded. So you can either click it and then delete, wait for it to load, click it, delete, wait for it to load. But I've been streaming since 2014, so I have a lot of clips. Or you can just, you know, scroll down until it loads a maximum and then delete and repeat, okay? So as you can see, if I click there, it selects everything that's loaded. And then I have the trash bin here where I can just um, delete them. Okay, I'm going to show you for highlights. Let's go to video producer and we'll find a filter here where it says uh, all videos. You can um, find things that you've uploaded and then your highlights or just your past broadcast. Let's go with highlight. Boom. And in this case, we don't really have the same options. You will have to go manually and click uh, on that little menu and then click delete. Right. And uh, then it will be same thing for the VODs. If you put past broadcast, you do not have the same option to to mass delete that I know of. If you know a way to do that, let me know. But I saw a tweet recently today that says if you want to remove all your clips, blah, blah, blah there is something called uh, tempermonkey.net. And we're going to try this out. This is my first time trying it out. Uh, we will see. From what I can see, it's basically a Chrome extension that allows you to run some scripts. Let me click download and then we'll add it to Chrome. Add extension. If you are um, suspicious about things, you're not sure, just don't don't use them. It's that fine. Don't ask me if it's safe. It's not safe. I didn't create it. Um, I'm just testing it on my computer. Uh, ultimately, um, the best anti antivirus is common sense. If you feel like it's uh, shady, don't use it. Okay, so from there, what do we do? Install the clip removal script. Okay, so if I click install here. Oh, wait, that did that happen? Okay, already, cool. Uh, go to twitch.tv slash clip remover. And then click remove all clips. Apparently it will take a lot of time and you need to keep that tab open because it still goes through the Twitch system to load the clips. Basically, that's why it will take a, a little bit of time. But as long as this is open, it will basically do that process that I showed you, but automatically and way faster than you can just leave it open until it deletes every single clip. Uh, make sure you're logged in to your Twitch account. And yeah, if you have any questions about this thing and if it's not working or whatever, what you can do, I'm not gonna actually click it here because I don't 
I want to sort through my clips before <laughs> but um if you have any troubleshooting issues or whatever uh please contact commander root uh on twitter again i did not create this so i most likely will not be able to help you if you're having any errors okay i can see in the comments here i'll link I i'll actually link to this specific tweet there are some videos on how to download all of your twitch clips and stuff like that and there's definitely a lot of insights in the comments too so please please uh check that out and that's pretty much how you delete your VODs, your highlights, and uh, your clips with the different methods that I've shown. I do not want to go in depth when it comes to the details uh, surrounding DMCA takedowns and stuff like that because I refuse to give you legal advice. Anyways, if you're looking for some dope overlays to make your channel look good, go to gumroad.com slash get leveled. You can follow me on social media. Again, check the links in the description. There's actually links to everything, including my Discord. And uh, even if you want to know what gear I use for my videos and stuff like that. That being said, go out there and make me proud. I'll see you guys next time. Get level out.